So you want to create a vision board? Well, grab a seat. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you five effective steps to creating a vision board that actually works. First things first, Happy New Year and welcome back to my channel if you are returning. If you're new here, hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Impua and on this channel, I share tools and tips to help you improve your way of life, make more money and live your dream life even if you're on a low income. If that sounds like something that you would want to be a part of, hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if you watch it and you end up enjoying it. Now let's get into this video. First step to creating an effective vision board that actually works is to prioritize and project. So what that means is that you're prioritizing the aspects of your life that are very important to you and projecting what you want those aspects to look like at the end of the year. That could mean that for a particular year, the aspects of your life that you want to prioritize could be say your fitness, could be your work relation, could be networking, could be your education. Next step is to quantify and write down your goal. So it's important that we have goals, but it is also very important that we quantify the kind of goals we are setting. And that is what we call a SMART goal. An example of a not so SMART goal is make more money this year. But to be able to see and visualize whatever you're trying to achieve, it is important that you put a number to it. So for example, I want to make a thousand dollars this year. Step number three, write down why exactly you have to achieve those goals or why those goals are important to you. This will help you not give up along the line and follow through all the way to the end with your goals. Once you stated a reason it's important for you to achieve those goals, it is time to find pictures to back it up. So for pictures, I usually search on Pinterest or sometimes Google and I design whatever text I may want on my vision board in Canva. My tip for finding pictures to match whatever goal you have is try to find a picture that feels realistic so that you can see yourself in. Once you find the pictures that you want, you put them into a file or a folder or whatever that makes you happy and you print them out. I advise that you print them on a hard paper I'm not sure what they are called but those ones come out way nicer and the picture quality is better let me show you what I mean so let's take this coat for instance I printed it on a hard paper so you can see that the color came out right and everything is fine but when I wanted to print my actual pictures for the vision board the people at the printing place said they had run out of um, that kind of paper and this is how these pictures came out not very clear but definitely something you can work with so if you're going to be printing out those pictures try to make sure that you're printing them on a very good paper and those will come out really great once you're done finding and printing out the pictures it is time to create the collage to create the collage you need your printed pictures also need a scissors you also need a cardboard I got a white cardboard because it just made sense to get a white cardboard and finally you would need a picture frame now it's time to create the collage So this is what it looks like once I'm done cutting my pictures out. As you can see, the picture quality is not, the print quality is not entirely great. That is why I advise that you use the paper that is actually made for printing pictures. Then I take my picture frame. So this is what mine looks like. I'm not sure what the size is, but I'm just going to take this cardboard so i'm taking that and i'm putting the rest of it aside let's put you right there 
all right so i'm going to use this as a guide to cut out my white cardboard I'm done putting the pictures together and I'm creating a vision board. I'm going to show you in a few seconds. But this is an example of a vision board, not my exact vision board because I don't want any bad vibes over here. So yeah, that's um, a disclaimer. But let me quickly take you through. Mostly work right here, networking, all of that. And I picked um, words for the year. So these are two words, growth and um, fruitfulness. You can decide to pick words that are going to be the foundation of your year if you want to. I don't, I think that that is not a bad idea. And some goals for my YouTube channel. If you have a YouTube channel, this will not be a bad goal. So yeah, 50,000 subscribers. Ah! I'm currently at... 1280 subscribers so i this is like the youtube side and you know my business side and then we have work we have you know personal fitness health all of that right here a little you know home or apartment and this is pretty much and also i wrote a check of 50,000 ghana cities and yeah, this is a typical example of what a vision board will look like. And once you've created a vision board, it is time to put it somewhere that you're going to see it every single day. You need to see these things. You need to see yourself living in these things for them to materialize. Yeah, vision boards are great. Setting goals are amazing. But if you don't put in the work, if you don't make the changes that you need to make, there are simply going to be visions and goals and nothing is going to change at the end of the year. I would also advise that you break these goals into smaller goals, so maybe into quarterly goals or monthly goals so that it is more attainable and your brain doesn't see it as something that is way off and not even try to work towards it. If you enjoyed this video, I'm going to enjoy these two other videos also on my channel. So pick whichever one you want to watch next and I will see you over there. Peace out.